right now we're gonna go to Johnny's house. We're gonna tell him that he has been picked to go to Australia with us, him and the girl Daniela Rosas. The Australian Embassy in Peru said they could give us two spaces for two of the kids of my academy to come and train in Australia in the HPC, which is the best high performance center of surfing in the world. This is where Team Australia trains, where Nick Fanning trains, where Joe Parkinson trains. It's an opportunity that has never happened in Peru before. The best surfers in the world come from Australia. And it's a place where, where you come and you realize that surfing can be a professional sport and everything is about surfing, you know? Entonces yo me sentí bastante feliz, alegre de irme a Australia y algo me presionaba en el pecho y me puse a llorar. Salió natural, traté de no llorar mucho, pero... Felicitaciones, Dani, te lo mereces. Chévere. Uh, when I was younger and, and I came here for the first time, it really changed my point of view uh, about professional surfing and it changed my point of view of a lot of things. So I hope that it happened the same for the kids that I brought uh, this time. now at the Gold Coast after a really really long flight here we're really happy to be here it's, it's beautiful here we served snapper yesterday and diva and the kids were surfing really well and they are loving it they're really excited and today we're gonna go to the HPC and start the program so I think from now on it's it's on you know the kids are gonna be learning a lot so it's gonna be an excellent experience for them so any of these boards they can use over here. So yeah. DHDs over this side, Mayhem's yeah. over this side, and then we've got all the fins. So they can trial different the FCS fins, so you'll see all the boards have yeah. different fins, so we can trial all the fins, but Josh will work. The HPC that. building is amazing. There's like so many different areas, and I think each area is really important to become a better surfer, you know? I think it's really well put together, and that's why, I mean, like the best surfers in the world train this. The most we really did in the course, like in the program, was surfing. And the coach would film them surfing, and then we would go back to the HPC and had this big screen where we could do the video analysis. Samba man had like this program where they could compare their body movement with the best in the world. So they could see how similar their body movements were or, or how not similar they were and learn from that. Uh, the landing. Look at where Jack is and look at where Johnny is. So you can see how he's behind the whitewash and he's in front. What I liked about the HPC Center was to be on the trampoline. It helped us to fall in the air and the rotation of the whole body, which gives us the strength with the legs, with all the movement, all together. What I liked about the trampoline is that it taught me how to do my rotation, which is lo básico, lo más importante para los aéreos. Lo he practicado en el agua y ha funcionado y la verdad que me ha ayudado un montón. Chévere, comete todos los errores que tengas ahorita, porque estamos aquí para, para aprender, para entrenar, no estamos aquí en un campeonato ni nada. O sea... Casi todos los días cuando corría y estaba con los coaches, quería demostrarle mi máximo potencial y sentía que corría mal y estaba bastante estresado y luego cuando salía estaba un poco molesto. Es más, no debería tener cero de presión. Johnny is a really, really, really talented surfer. I think sometimes he's a little bit tough in himself uh, regarding to surfing. I think he sees a big opportunity 
for him to, to do good in life uh, via surfing. So sometimes he gets a little bit frustrated when he's not, you know, ripping. And he sometimes forgets about the, the positive sides of his surfing that he's learning, you know. Un día fuimos a hacer un curso de apnea. Me enseñaba a poder calmarme, a poder controlarme cuando esté frustrado. Y me ha ayudado un montón y eso va a marcar bastante mi surfing y lo va a hacer toda mi vida. So what, what we've been doing is a program called Breath Enhancement Training, which is all about trying to get surfers to breathe better when they're under stressful situations, like in a competition or bigger waves, and then being able to cope with the stress that comes from those experiences, meaning their body and their brain becomes calmer due to the breathing methods that we're teaching in the pool. Earthquake. Peace. Paz. Paz. Today is the last eight years, and I think it's been a great week. The HPC experience have been like amazing. I wish I was young again so I can do it with them. Uh, Daniela and Johnny, they're amazing, you know. They're, Peru's got some, some bright stars. I think it's a great thing that, that, that you guys are doing and it's, uh, it's very exciting. Daniela is probably the first young female surfer that I've seen out of Peru. And you can see that she's got a lot of drive, she's got a lot of passion for it. And she was really coachable. It was really a pleasure working with her because she retained information and, and put it into action really quite well. So as a coach, being able to work with someone that young that's able to do that is really quite, quite fun and yeah, inspiring too to see where she's going to go with her career. Johnny is, he has a beautiful style. He's, he's very, uh, he's a very natural talent with a lot of fire. But the problem being, he's so passionate and so competitive that he knows how to control his, his emotions. He needs to become more calm like Daniela. <laughs> He's really fast, he's super keen, he's, he's just a complete prof in surf crom. Time will tell, but I think he's definitely got a, a good future in surfing.